Hello, everyone. Welcome back to your Extraordinary Podcast with my friend, Carrie Fisher. Carrie, we have a special guest today. And wow, it's my long friend in in the virtual world. <laughs> but it's, it's just very close to me, my friend Nan. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great that to be able to to sit here with you guys and, and see you again, it's wonderful. I mean, you know, Carrie and I have met in person a couple of times in different locations already. And Lawrence, you're next. <laughs> we have to yeah. make a point. Why, why is here. that, Carrie? You always meet my friends first than me. Why, why is that? Why is that? <laughs> you around, Lawrence, taking up all your friends. <laughs> no, you're both yeah. wonderful. Kirian and I share, uh, like, well, our birthdays are one day apart too, so it's yep. great. Yeah. We're wow. equally crazy, Lawrence. All right. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to have you here. So, Nan, tell us about your chapter. What is it about? Mm. And what made you write about that topic? Um, it, it's actually the basis of how I started the entire um health transformation i guess how how everything has uh come together for me um uh during the pandemic it was uh january 2021 last year yeah i started keeping gratitude journals and i actually i can show you them uh from last you and year until yeah, and you and kim should get together and um share your gratitude journals you can inspire each other yeah i have five <laughs> from last year until now so i have a lot Oh, I love that. Yeah, and that's actually. I was actually yesterday cleaning a closet, and I came across hundreds of journals. I'm like, <clears throat> what am I going to do with it? No, I'm now going. I'm, I've been like um, putting them into my computer, and I'm going to have a big bonfire. I'm going to burn them all because there's some stuff in there. I don't really want to. Yeah, anything. let me let me burn that for you. Yeah, <laughs> right. You'll keep it as blackmail. I know you, Lawrence. In case everything goes wrong with your coaching career, you still have something to fall back on. Yes. <laughs> Burning. All right, Dan. So, is your chapter on gratitude? Yeah, on everyday gratitude, and um, mm. you know, I. I, I you know, how could I start a gratitude practice? Um, well, I started actually, it was, uh, I was inspired by Jim Quick. And uh, that's something he said, he didn't actually say uh, to keep a gratitude journal. He actually was talking about, you know, one can start journaling just about things. And he talks about he has a gratitude practice every day. And, um, and because I had just joined Mind Valley at the time, and that was before any, um, implement implementation of my daily routines now that I do or anything nothing I just started with that while I was going through all the uh, quests we call them online valley that I was uh, taking and mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know it's just I, I think it resonated with me because I had always finished for some reason I never kept a journal like ever and uh, but I always finished my messages to people or uh, emails or at work when I was working before with thank you. For me, that was always how I signed off. And mm. um, so when he started talking about gratitude journal, I'm like, oh, maybe, maybe there's something. I didn't even think it was a sign or anything. I just started. And uh, it was actually- You had already been practicing gratitude without even yeah. knowing it. And most of us have, like when you stop mm. and look at a rainbow, you're mm. practicing gratitude. Anytime nature or something strikes you, you're practicing. Mm. Mm -hmm. Even when sometimes I was looking at my kids when they would be sleeping, you know, like when they were really little, it was always such a such moment. Angels. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, and then they wake up and you're like, yeah, not yeah. really. <laughs> exactly. You're like, you're such <laughs> angels when you're sleeping, but you're like monsters. It's a different <laughs> level again. <laughs> oh, you're a teenager now. How wonderful. Okay, good. <laughs> exactly. I can totally empathize. Can't wait to see that stage, Lawrence. I'm sure it's going to go great for you, though. Right, Nan? All right, Nan. So what are some of the things that you have put on your gratitude list, things that you're comfortable sharing? I'm sure there's some naughty stuff on there. And if there's not... I suggest well, go make a naughty list. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I just advocate, you guys. Naughty gratitude list. Lawrence, let's do it. A whole book on it. <laughs> I, my, I'm just kind of looking at my first entry, and I really just have one thing. And <laughs> because I had just started Mind Valley and taking all the courses, so my I can read it to you actually. I said, I'm grateful to have the money and support from my husband 
to register mm -hmm. for programs that I'm interested in on Mindvalley. Just That's one entry. That's mm -hmm. all I had for my first, because I'm like, what am I supposed to talk about? That's yeah. pretty lame, Nan. I have yeah. to <laughs> <laughs> that was that was but you know oh, you're sure. supposed to insult your guests i didn't know yes or no, no. but it's oh, it, yeah awesome. it's totally it's totally <laughs> fine with me because we know each i'm other. just kidding i'm just kidding no it is true though we are lucky also mm -hmm. the time to do it a lot of people would be too exhausted to have time to listen to you know an hour worth of material so mm -hmm. you're saying that if we start practicing gratitude we can find it pretty much anywhere you could practice gratitude by saying when i oh i woke up and i'm breathing today you know yes so you also were saying not just gratitude but also personal growth in general that you really mm -hmm. um you took the time during the pandemic to really work on yourself. So now mm -hmm. can you transform in like one to two years for people who are listening to this? If they're not in a great place right now, do you think within a year they could transform something in their life? Yes or no? By definitely. De definitely. Um, I mean, it, it was, I, I, I've been, um, I'm just going to mention one of the routines that I do um, is the, the 10X fitness uh, protocol. And I've done it for almost two years now, 21 months, 22 months. And mm -hmm. if you were to ask me before I started the entire journaling, gratitude journaling experience, I would have said, yeah, I try different things. I do yoga. I try, you know, bar Pilates, whatever, all these different things, or even like kickboxing. I never, you know, stuck with it. And, um, but I've been doing 10X. Um, oh, one one thing I think is because it's a really simple method to learn. Um, but the other is now, because I have such appreciation for my body, for what it can do, that I'm like, what's what's another way of treating my body? I don't want to treat my body the same way that I used to treat my body before. And so mm -hmm. if you're, um, I mean, you can see my website or even on the Mind Valley Insights or Stories platform under 10X, you can see my transformation. Mm -hmm. I didn't even, you know, I dissociated myself from like the scale, you know, on, on the, uh, the number that showed up mm -hmm. on the weight scale. Mm -hmm. And now I just know if I'm feeling like I'm strong, I'm healthy, I have energy, I can go all day on like five hours sleep, which is not a good practice, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, and I try not to do that most of the time. But, you know, that would have been really exhausting for me. I would have had Wait, so now you over. actually used your gratitude practice to feel grateful yeah. for your body, which mm -hmm. is provided the motivation that you needed. So what she's really saying is you don't have to do any of the practices she's saying. She's saying if you practice just one of the practices, which is gratitude, it will provide the motivation for you to do the transformation because you have to have a good motivation because it's it's mm. very hard to accomplish anything without the motivation. So loving your own body can get you to eat right and exercise. It's pretty interesting. What do you think, Lawrence? Yes, yes, yes. And um, I believe that gratitude is a big block of, of transformation or self-development or, you know, or anything that you want to do in life. And I, I experienced that gratitude also makes me more appreciative with life, mm -hmm. right? because we tend to just you know to just flow but we want to be flowing that we appreciate all the things that happening in our life and and i'm so happy that nan talks it within the chapter about the power of gratitude and how we do we practice gratitude so thank you so much nan and can I'm i just so, add so like a quick little something i just wanted to oh, say sure, just sure. remember was um Practicing gratitude is actually to help us move away from seeing what we're lacking and to actually focus on what we've already been given yeah. by other people, by ourselves also, what we've given our own body, what we've been given by the mm. universe. When you practice yeah. gratitude, you start to notice more things to be grateful for because you have mm. to write down the things you're grateful for soon. Mm. <laughs> so you have to yeah. look around like mm. nothing is good, but I need to write down 10 things later or tomorrow morning. So <laughs> start looking for it, I think. Yeah, Thank I you so much, Nan. I loved your chapter. I thought it was fabulous. And we are looking forward to many more um, amazing things coming from you. So have a great day. Yeah. Thank you so much. See you guys you later. Bye. 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 Bye.